Praise Lord. Performer James Taylor. Winter, spring, summer, fall. All you got to do is call. And I'll be there, yeah, yeah, yes I will. You've got a friend. My mother used to sing that song to me and my brother and my dad. Most music has changed, a lot of music, a lot of, what I would say, boomer music has changed with me over the last two years. But thank the Lord, James Taylor is rock solid. Jesus Christ is always number one. And James Taylor didn't have a number one on his own until way, way, way later. You know what? Like it was like he had already been around for like forty years before he had a number one by himself. He did go number one with Carol King. So who it is? I can't remember right now. I've got a lot on my mind besides music. Um, but I loved James Taylor. I had a tape. James Taylor. That Mexico song. I remember that one. What I want to do in this video is talk about that Welch water tank bypass mural. And I know for the world, this is like a very specific to the people in McDowell County, West Virginia. Sometimes videos are going to be like that. I'll be trying to explain it to people in Kazakhstan. <laughs> well, it's Southern West Virginia, which is located in the city of West Virginia. I need to get better at this. What's it look like? How do they do that? I remember they, we used to have a symbol for it. Panhandles. I think it's kind of like... Kind of like that, okay? West, where I'm from would be like right down here. That part of Virginia, West Virginia. Because people all do want to know like where West Virginia is at. Is it closer to Pittsburgh or Maryland or whatever? It's down here next to Virginia. Um, That's where Miguel County is located. In the 2010s. Well, 2000s. 2009, my dad painted on the Welch water tank located on the U.S. Route 52 bypass. It is a section of the two-lane highway that the state put in a long time ago. It's, we're still waiting, like on the Division of Highways video, watch that one. We're still waiting on that four-lane highway system to come through, but we have, well, U.S. Route 52. We have Route 80, and like Route 52 is kind of the main thoroughfare. But this bypass, was put in, I think like in the 60s or 70s. And what it does is it routes, back when the population of Welch was higher, today it's less than 17,000. So it's probably only there because the population was higher like in the 60s. What this road section does is it takes US Route 52. There's the city of Welch right here and then there's the mountains all around it. Well, it routes US Route 52 up along a mountain. And then from there you can see um, there's like a little drive overlook parking lot and you can stop there by the water tank and you can look over and see the city of Welch. But this was put in probably to route traffic so it would not be bogged down in the city of Welch, like traffic, longer distance traffic and coal trucks and things like that. I'm trying to explain like the very, very general area for someone who's never seen it. Because I do know there's probably going to be someone to tonight who will see it and be like, I know exactly what you're talking about because you live there. And I'm glad that you're watching the video. But I'm also talking to people across the world. And I want to say that like, so in the 2000, late 2000s, this water tank, which is also visible. I don't think the mural can really be seen from if you're down in the city of Welch. But my dad, Tom Acosta, like my seminar boy and very corrupt today, but back in the day, let's just kind of like go back in time. 
was an artist and he was um, wanting to paint on this mural. He already had other contracts down in the city of Welch and this was like another opportunity and it just turned out to where it got to happen. So what I want to share in this video is, here's the picture of the Welch water tank as it looked in 2009 and here's how it looked. This is my head. That's me in the picture in 2023 when I was homeless in West Virginia before I was in San Francisco. I was also homeless in West Virginia. This is um, the night that my brother Drew comes up and it's the night that I'm telling him Drew, our father's a child buster. My dad was not at the house. He abandoned me there. Went back to, I believe, Summers County, but we're in McDowell County. And we're looking at this picture of the water. Well, we're looking at the water tank. And I remember telling Drew, take a picture. And I remember Drew saying, he was particularly nervous about specifically taking the picture of the water. Like, he was just like very, what I want to say here, the point of this video is, I have been describing and writing on Facebook today a lot about like highest ever costs West Virginia is having, like exorbitant costs, costs that you can't put a dollar amount on them. That's how high they are with like my father sleeping with a seven year old boy with West Virginia Department of Education failing with like law enforcement saying we work for time of cost. So with the governor worshiping his dog's butthole with um like this water tank picture and I'm just keeping it up is very much like, okay, here's what I want to say, okay? People in the 2000, like in, from 2012 to 2019, and even in this year since, since I've been in Colorado, people have still been coming to me with like a genuine, like a good natured concern. Like they're like, we don't like how it looks. And I know that it looks so good in the past. And what can we be doing to make it? Like they're coming to me as I'm the artist's son. And they are just really wanting that, having that look of what it looked like when it was new. I get that. And they are so desperate for that, that they're contacting me in Colorado. It's heartbreaking. Here's what I want to say. This is kind of like a very big, like, Boyce McDowell County, West Virginia kind of video. The best thing I can gather, everybody, one, we should take a look at what it is. It is paint on metal. In sunlight outdoors there's four seasons later spring summer and fall <laughs> kind of like James Taylor but like <laughs> there's a lot going on I don't out what like, where it is on the mountaintop the wind the Sun sometimes cars come maybe crash into it I don't know but like it's definitely college it's not at the Sistine Chapel in Rome okay and separate from like my like just the facts my dad was painted was paid to paint it one time in 2009 and when he did i think even like when he like considered the bid for it or whatever which he was like you know, he was the only person really like, they wanted him to do it he also included like recommendations that like in 2014 you are going to need like he was also i think doing that i'm pretty sure this is on hyper percent pro my dad wanted to do it but he wanted to do it one time and he wanted to do it in 2009 and then after but he also at that time I think also told the city of Welch a maintenance plan and like a recommended at this time, this number of years later, paint the reds or there was, I don't know specifically, but my dad was like, here's what my best as the person who has experience painting and doing this kind of work for decades. He was like, this is my very best recommendation of what you should be doing to maintain and keep this looking great. Okay, so my dad really did do, I think, a really outstanding job. If I was in the city of Welch, this is something that's going to look amazing, but it's only going to look amazing as long as we maintain it, right? Like, let's just assume that, okay? I think that the city of Welch also know that and understood that, and back in 2009 was like, we agree and understand we are going, like, I think that those things were made. Talking about the highest ever cost, you can't see a lot of them. You can't. Like, I'm just here in my apartment with, like, you know, the windows look like that, and I don't have, like, you notice my hair's all sticky and stuff? Like, I don't care because I don't have shampoo, but I didn't have a home, and now I have a two-bedroom apartment with all the countertops. 
I'm just not that worried about how my hair looks. I also haven't had any hats in a while, and I always wear hats. So, like, things like that with me, I'm just not particularly too worried about it. Because I'm worried about the highest ever cost in West Virginia. Um, this mural project is something that I can point to you and show physically when people, and people have asked me about it, and I can tell you. Like, here's what I can say. Probably Mayor Harold McBride, the city of Welch, who's and someone that we should pray for. Um, generally, we should. He's a city of Welch mayor. We should always pray for our leaders. Um, probably Mayor Harold McBride knows it looks bad. He probably wants it to look better. He probably has known that. He was also county commissioner. I think he was county commissioner when this project was installed in 2009. So he's probably very educated and aware of everything, like more than I am, for sure, on this whole deal. I did paint on it a little bit, but Tom Acosta mainly did this one by himself. Here's the thing. Okay. Well, it's Mayor Harold McBride, in McGill County, West Virginia, the County Commission, Southern West Virginia officials, people in Charleston, West Virginia, who run tourism and things like that. The state of West Virginia is probably so inept and so un... They want it to get a little better. I'm sure everybody in West Virginia, I would doubt that we could find a single person who would be like, I like it like that. Okay. Everybody wants it to look better. West Virginia is as able to fix that as this nation of Haiti is able to put a, a beach ball on a beach. Okay. That is how bad we can't really see a lot of the highest ever costs. Another one I can tell you about would be like the Division of Highways, okay? Back when February 2023, well, the last thing me and my dad really did was we went to a raft, like it was this something we did as a finding out he's sleeping with a seven year boy. This is what we did. We went on a trip from Summers County to Grafton, West Virginia for him to go retake pictures. Uh, what he's taking pictures of was the house where the inventor of Mother's Day lived a long time ago. He lost the picture he took before and he wanted to take another picture because he wanted to paint a painting paint a painting about it. And I have thought a lot about why and all that. But like Mother's Day in general, and all motherhood and homelessness, and he sleep with seven year old boy things and all that kind of stuff. But when we were on that trap, there was actually a lane closure. We were on a four lane highway, one that was built. And there was lumber. Trees cut down, like Aspland is the, I don't know, it's the organization that cuts down and maintains like vegetation along the roadways in West Virginia because it's thick and there's a lot of it. But this was like, they were cutting trees down and they were cutting, they were, they were, this was like a, a failure of the West Virginia Division of Highways, but I don't believe, I still believe West Virginia Highways. Always going to. This was like... Aspland, in conjunction with what they were doing, was there was a lane closure and there was logs that had just been come had just been trees, and they were sawing the logs into smaller chunks on the lane, on the asphalt. They could have rolled and blown into like like we could have hit it. Does this make any complete sense to anybody? Nobody there, for some reason. Do you see how that was like? And it was like a curve and an incline and just, it was dangerous, but like they were unable to do anything else about it. That was the very best that they could do. And I mean that without a lot of like emotional tint. It's just like, for some reason, whoever was in charge, it was safe, unsafe. It's also quite odd to see logs being sawed down <laughs> on a road. 
and the lane closed so that can happen. But that's what they were doing because it was the very best that they could be doing. That was the very best the people they're working getting paid knew or were told what to do. And it is very sad, and I'm trying to say this with a lot of heart, because I did my, you know, other videos last night, like Go Boomers in the McDowell County with the River Center Society Cleanup Project. That one I'm still stated by. But I'm saying that why, because I know a lot of these people, and they're awful. But this, Water tank pack, which I've kept up, right? I think I've kept it up this entire time. I want you to see, like, they probably want it to get fixed, but they are unable to because West Virginia already and was. There was also, let me refer to this. I'm going to end this video. I think I made my point in the video. I'll go back and refine it. It's just for me to say it so I could say that I said it when I said it. Um, and this is what I thought for months and for a long time. Like my brother, let me remind you, Drew was very nervous about me taking this picture. He was, I cannot trust my brother. Okay. Brothers, I think being coerced, silenced, or very much influenced by an outside dark force. Like I really do believe that's true. Um, you can also watch that video, American Great, highest ever cost for time cost to stay afloat. And I think you are going to be more convinced that Nathan's not just like completely crazy, but this is actually, look at other events. Governor Jim Justice lost over $500 million of his own money. He cannot keep the Greenbrier Resort. The whole lawsuit situation with Tom Acosta start following West Virginia. And I will say in the 2010s, Mango County, West Virginia, a couple counties over, was in the news like all the time, always, all every day. And it was about corruption in Mingo County. Well, I think... The news had, like, I think the news knew. Like I said, Greg Crowe at WBBA is someone I will not interact with WBBA as long as he's there. Um, just decided to not talk about why. But I think that the media was just like, let's just focus on Mingo County because it'll just be better if we do. <laughs> but the entire state. I have already. It's how we ended up with a governor who's worshiping his dog's butthole. Um, last thing I'll say here in this video is when Carolyn Palin, the retired superintendent, recently retired, like retired the year before, I knew her. We worked together when I was a West Virginia Project, West Virginia University Project Director, 2013 2015. I knew exactly who the fuck she is. She knows exactly who the fuck I am. When I came to her about Tom Acosta sleeping with a seven year old boy. And she failed. She was too busy talking about her 13-foot-tall Christmas tree. And she ends up blocking me. And she just never... What it felt like was, to me, the West Virginia Department of Education in 2019 had a budget of $2.095 billion. For that amount of money, you can buy 20 F-35 fighter jets. Specifically, the ones that cost $100.6 million. The tram, like the top-level tram of the F-35 fighter jet. It's the kind that flies on air aircraft carriers. There's some ones that are $20 million less expensive that like, <laughs> they're still $80 million that like can take off and land on air, on, on land. Okay? But the like the aircraft carrier kind are $100.6 million according to Google. So imagine 20 of those colliding above your head at their top speed at 1,200 miles per hour. Whatever you think that sounds like, that would be the catastrophic failure West Virginia Department of Education through a tweet I sent and through Carolyn Phelan in their inability to respond. Well, probably multiple tweets. <laughs> West Virginia's highest cost ever. Like that would be one way I can describe how bad West Virginia is failing. And how it is this video earlier today about how West Virginia will only have a United States president. We have to believe West Virginia, like we ain't never believed in it before, but we also have to look at the very real reality. It is already, it was already the dead last state when I was born. It has never got really above that metric. Today, it is facing such the all-time highest costs and every single second, they never go down. 
it has lost its state song. It has it is losing things in a way that there's not a way to put a dollar value on it. The governor did lose over five hundred million dollars of his own money just since two thousand seventeen alone, probably because he's breaking the first commandment. Okay, but like West Virginia as a whole, I really do wonder what will happen, and I pray for the best. But I am also fearful of like an earthquake happening and thousands of miners getting killed on a level we ain't never seen before. Do the wrath of God. It will be innocent people hurting. I am very worried about things like that. And I am not someone that was really into a lot of like superstitious or like wild events before. This is something I am looking at like We must pray. We must pray. For all this heaven. I want to just close with these few pictures of times that are now. And I want to show you this is the work um, done in 2002 in Princeton, West Virginia. And that one is something that is really a disservice to Rennell, West Virginia, which never got its mural because Tom Acosta stole more than $20,000 from the town of Rennell for a project supposed to honor U.S. veterans of the Vietnam War. And to make matters worse, if you can believe they can be worse, they can be. He stole the money in Welch, West Virginia, home of the oldest Veterans Day Parade in U.S. history. So we very much must pray for almost heaven.